Hey guys, Matt Allen, not Tim Little. Welcome back to Tactical Bass. And guys, this is Alex Sentner. How's it going, guys? For those of you that only follow us on YouTube, there's a lot more going on on social media. Uh, we ran a competition over on Instagram with Tactical Bass and Apparel. Uh, essentially, get yourself some Tactical Bass and Apparel, use a couple of related hashtags, share your photos, and then we randomly picked one for somebody to come fishing with us. Here we are. Alex is from Arizona. He came out to uh, enjoy this beautiful clear lake water. Very clear. We're in the middle of a nasty <laughs> algae bloom. But Alex is here to fish with us just to have a good time, shoot a video. Uh, we started talking about what we wanted to do. We decided that today we are going to do a 100 fish challenge. We're hitting the water. We'll give you an official time, but it's roughly 7.30. Uh, we're going to see if we can get it done. Stick 100 bass out here on Clear Lake today. Stick with us. We're going to check in throughout. Should be fun. All right, guys, we're gonna get started. Official time is 7.38. Uh, a couple of ground rules. Essentially, we are trying to catch 100 bass. That's the goal, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start out throwing reaction. I'm sure, I mean, we could just call it now. This is gonna end as a worming thing. That's where it's headed. 100 fish is hard to do, uh, but we're gonna start out throwing reaction, see how many we can catch that way before we start worming, throwing a jig, doing some of that bottom fishing. Uh, it's gonna be fun. We're taking any fish. I don't care if it's eight inches or eight pounds. We're gonna count it Here we go. Let's do it Fish number one Alex with number two. Beautiful fish. Nice work. <laughs> Off and running. Number three. Number four, starting to speed up. Number five. You guys, this morning what we've got, water temps, 77 degrees. Yesterday in the afternoon, they were all the way up in the mid 80s. Last week, they were in the mid 90s. So what's happening, we've got a horrible algae bloom. Essentially, our visibility is zero. Zero to two inches. Uh, these fish in the early morning, they're moving up in that cooler water. There's tons of bait fish. So they're moving up, they're getting on cover, getting on those shade lines, feeding while they can. Then later in the day, they back down, they sit on the rock ledges on the brakes, um, school up, and just basically wait out the warmer part of the day. So we're just taking advantage of it while we can, hoping we can get, you know, 10, 15, 20 of these shallower fish before we move out. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Something we've talked about in the past, but I'll bring up again here. I'm throwing a spinner bait, no stinger hook, so that I can get through all this shallow cover. But I add a Kitek. This one's a 4.8 that's been cut down. But by adding that Kitek, I can get away with no stinger. Cause... Nice. There's number nine. I get away with that. By adding the Kitek, the fish want to eat the head of the Kitek. They're dialed on that rather than nipping at the back. So I end up not needing that stinger at all. I get a great hookup ratio on just that single hook. I'm way more weedless. Number 10 is a little guy. Guys, like always, we'll give you links to all the gear, the baits, the colors, all that stuff down in the video description if you want to see the specifics of what we're using as we're rolling through these fish. Number 11. Number 12. Number 13. Fifth. 
15. Started throwing the shaky head. Alex is throwing the drop shot. See how many we can start stacking up. Throw on that shaky head, stand up finesse head with a zoom swamp crawler. 22. Three. Twenty-four. That makes number twenty-five. We're a quarter of the way there. It is ten twenty-six. <laughs> we got some work to do. Took almost three hours to knock out our first twenty-five. Yeah, we definitely need to pick up the pace. I think we're gonna change it up, run around a little bit, see if we can't find some of these schools that are starting to back off the bank as it warms up, because it is hot. At least California hot. Maybe not Arizona hot over here, but I'm blazing. Number 26. Number 27. All right, guys, a little bit after one, we are sitting at 45 fish in the boat. Just picked up Tim. He's joining us for the afternoon session. He had some plans this morning, but uh, we're gonna go back out there now, all three of us, and see if we can track down another 55. Can we do it? We're gonna try. We're gonna try. Forty-seven. Number forty-nine. That little guy makes fifty. Halfway. Hooray. It is. You don't want to know what time it is. It is currently 2.13. So we've been at it almost seven hours to get that first 50 fish in the boat. 
That was intense. Hopefully we can speed it up from here. Quick update for you. It's 4.08. So we've been out here a little over nine hours. I'd say Tim's showing up, breathe some new life into it. We are flying through this last little bunch of fish. Hopefully we can wrap this up quick. I think now we're all believing we can get it done. A few hours ago we were wondering if this is really gonna happen. Ninety one. Ninety four. 
four. We're going to head for the marina and we'll sit down and do a little bit of a recap with you guys. All right guys, just pulled back into the marina, 519 official time, a little bit longer than we <laughs> planned on, but we had a blast. Pulled it off, stuck 100 fish on a day where it just didn't look like it was going to happen. Tim met us midday, got that momentum going again. Huge thanks to Alex for coming out. Alex came all the way up from Arizona. Uh, we appreciate him wearing the apparel, sharing it on Instagram, using the fish with tactical bassin and the tactical bassin apparel hashtags. Uh, we're gonna start another competition here on Instagram shortly. So if you guys want an opportunity to come out and fish with us, check that out. If you want apparel, you can email us tacticalbassinapparel at gmail.com. We'll also have that spelled out down in the video description along with links to all the gear we used and information about what we were doing out here. We appreciate you guys. Hit that subscribe button. Subscribe button? Yeah. Hit that like button, <laughs> subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you soon. through your cord. <laughs>